Step four, file with the court and serve the opposing attorney. Well, to do this, you gotta print two copies of your answer document. You have to send one to the court and one to the opposing attorney. Sometimes it gets a little vague. You don't actually serve the plaintiff, you're serving the plaintiff's attorney. The plaintiff might be Discover Bank. Uh, the attorney might be some guy in Scottsdale. Uh, all the attorneys are living in Scottsdale, right, in Arizona. So there might be some guy in, Arizona, in Scottsdale and you have to serve that guy, email the document to that guy, not to Discover Bank, which is like headquarters in New York or something. It gets a little bit tricky in Arizona. Next up, you have to calculate and pay the filing fee for your answer. Uh, yeah, that is right. Arizona courts charge a filing fee just to respond to a debt lawsuit. Sounds pretty outrageous, doesn't it? Well, that's because it is outrageous. Unfortunately, solo suit isn't the courts, so it's up to them to do what they want. And they charge you a filing fee. And that filing fee ranges from, wait for it, $40 up to $245. Yeah. So if you're sued for a debt that you might not even owe in Arizona, you have to pay the court $245 just to not lose your case automatically. If you think that's a problem, maybe write to someone. I don't know, maybe a congressman, maybe the judges in Arizona, maybe the senator, uh, maybe the governor, I don't know. When you mail it out to the opposing attorney, uh, oftentimes the address for the opposing attorney is on the, is on the summons and the complaint. You might have a hard time finding the address for the court, usually because that's the, the court doesn't find it relevant to list their address on the court documents oftentimes. So oftentimes it's super hard to find the, the address that you need to mail the document to. Filing is not is not easy, right? So you gotta have a, a printer to print the documents, you gotta have paper, you gotta have ink to, to print it all, or, or toner, all right, if you have a fancy laser jet. And then you have to find out what your filing fee is, you have to calculate it, and then you have to go to the post office, you have to wait in line at the post office. All, right, all this is actually possibly the hardest part of the entire experience. Uh, so again, you can pay solo suit to take care of this for you. We are uh, professionals. We do it all the time. That's literally all we do is just file documents for people all the time. All right, so you can go over to solosuit.com and have us do it for you. Um, either way, uh, we are rooting for you and we hope you win your case. Just a little fun fact for everybody who is still watching this video at this point. I used to live in Arizona. I used to work, uh, live, in, live in Mesa worked for a company called, a nonprofit called Anasazi Foundation. It's a, it's a beard, it's a beard growing uh, institute where you know, it's just about dudes growing big beards. You get paid more for the bigger your beard is. Uh, it's, not, it's not that at all. It is actually a wilderness therapy program for youth and adults who just wanna hang out in the desert. Uh, you know, dodge rattlesnakes, dodge saguaro, cacti as well as the choya uh, go through super icy cold rivers hang out camp without any mattresses or anything cook over the fire honestly why anastasia actually is sounds more outrageous than my joke about it being a beer institute honestly if you're in, if you're in arizona you know you see some dudes with big old beards uh, might be working for Anasazi. Might be might be called Anasazi Trail Walkers. All right, so just keep your eyes open for that if you're out there in the Mesa area. So just a little fun fact. There we go. We're rooting for you guys. Hope you win.